Hello everyone, Colorado Wait here, and today I'm back with another Pixelgon 3 video. In today's video, we're going to be doing another weapon review, and today's weapon review is on the Easter Bazooka. Now, the Easter Bazooka has an efficiency of 21, fire at a 50, capacity of 1, and a mobility of 120. Now, this weapon is actually a removed weapon from the game. This weapon came out of Easter 2015. Uh, this weapon was actually one of the worst premium weapons in the game. It was actually absolutely horrendously terrible, and you couldn't get, get really any kills with it. Now, in this most recent update, for some reason, really stopped actually removed the Easter Bazooka in this update, but they actually buffed it at the same time, and this weapon is actually a one-shot kill to take someone out with iron armor. It's an insane weapon, and you guys will see from the gameplay... Of how powerful this weapon is. Now this weapon is basically the most balanced weapon in the heavy section that's a one hit kill. Just because this weapon is a bazooka and this weapon does reload after one shot. So let's get into some gameplay here. And I'll show you guys how powerful this weapon is. Okay so which map should I go into? Yeah okay. So we're in a nuclear city match right now. And we're going to try to get some kills right now. And as you can see here, when I if I even bother trying to get a kill, and um, it's a little difficult to get some ki um, you know, hit someone at first. But as you can see there, one shot, one shot takes that guy out. And you know, it doesn't take too much skill actually. You just gotta have some pretty good aim, and you're pretty much set with this weapon. Now against Dark Mage Wand users, you're not going to beat them because they are literally the most overpowered what people in the game. Unless they're in close range matches, there's that's only situations where they will lose. But um. You know, I didn't hit that player that right there. That's why that guy didn't die. Um, that was kind of weird. He did actually respond right when he right, right, came back, actually. Uh, once again, I guess a Wizard Wand, you're not going to beat that. Especially in a map like Nuclear City, you're not going to beat it. I don't know why these people are dying. That guy left the match, which is why he didn't die. That's kind of weird. Promise to you guys, this thing is a one-shot. But this weapon did get a buff, and it's not four shots. It takes someone else. It's one shot, so that's good. As you can see there, there's a one shot right there. Unless you, well, my audio, well, my video is well behind, so you guys can't actually see that yet. But um, as you can guys see, see from the gameplay, this weapon is a one shot kill, and it's a pretty good weapon actually. It's one of the better uh, heavy weapons in the game. I wouldn't say it's the best one. It's definitely not better than the big buddy. Since this thing is actually a bazooka, um, you know, it's not like the big buddy, and you know, the big buddy actually shoots at a faster fire rate. I'm gonna go into a different server just because everyone is literally spamming the list the uh OP weapons that can easily beat this one. Because um the the only disadvantage with this thing is that this is this thing actually reloads after one shot and people could easily kill you. Um you know that's the only bad thing about the um Easter Bazooka. But um you know it's pretty decent. As you can see there I got a one shot kill right there. Um you guys can probably see that it is a one shot kill and it's a very powerful weapon now. This weapon used to be probably the worst premium weapon in the game because this weapon used to cost a lot of quite a few gems. It's, it wasn't even worth it, but definitely it's worth it. Unfortunately, the Pixel Gun Company actually removed this weapon from the shop. You can't actually get it anymore, and you couldn't even get this weapon from the super chest either, which is it kind of sucked. I don't know why they bought this weapon while they removed it. It's like the big body guys. You guys remember when they removed the big body like two years ago now? Um, you know, that that weapon actually got buffed like the update before it got removed, which was kind of dumb. It's basically the same with the Easter Bazooka. I don't know why really, really soft actually removed the big buddy and the Pixel and Company removed this weapon. But they're both very powerful weapons in the game. Hopefully, um, you know, the Pixel and Company will actually, uh, bring back the Super Chests in probably in the next update. Which, um, you know, that could be another event that could last for another 15 days. And put this weapon in the super chest, or the normal chest, but that would be kind of dumb if they put it in the normal chest. Because we all know what happens with the wizard wand, since that thing is super easy to get from- That one one was uh, super easy to get from the normal crate, or normal chest actually. And you know, it's since it was actually kind of easy to get, then um, <laughs> you all know what happened there. Everyone has it now, which is kind of dumb. What's this guy asking me in the chat? Yeah, okay. But, um, it's it's a pretty good gun, guys. As you can see here, I am first place with 715 points. I'm even, a, I'm even beating a Wizard Wand user, which is kind of weird. I don't know why I'm beating him. Uh, it's very rare, very rare to actually beat someone like that. You have to be lucky when they hit the ground. Just, when they hit the ground, just, sh just fire right at them. <laughs> like, seriously. That's the only way you can actually kill someone with that, um... I keep missing my shots. This weapon kind of has kind of a small area damage. It's not super big like the solar power cannon or the anti-gravity blaster. So 
got to be very accurate with the shots and try to be try to hit the player as close as you possibly can. And um, you know, that's one thing I need to note with this weapon. Uh, I'm winning here right now, which is pretty good. I'm barely being the Wizard Warren user, although this guy is probably going to catch up to me and beat me before this match actually ends. But, you know, we all can probably hope that I can probably be, be him. I'm still beating him, actually, so we took him out there. You know, you guys didn't see that because every record sucks. We all know why. This is the third video I'm actually recording with every record. And it didn't work out well. I, I'm sorry if you guys can hear background noise. Um, My brother's watching a video on TV, which is kind of dumb. But, um, alright. Um, so, I'll probably do, actually, um, you guys will probably see the end of the video here, but I'm not entirely sure. So, um, I don't know if I should do another match. I pretty much demonstrated how powerful this weapon is. Um, and, uh, you know, well, we'll do one more match for you guys to see the second match, actually. So, uh, you know, uh, the reason why I, I keep forgetting to review this weapon is because this weapon got buffed in this update. Don't even ask why they did. But, um, you know... Uh, actually, I actually got this from a friend, and that friend's actually in my next 1v1, but I'm not gonna tell you guys his name, because that's a secret, but, um, he told me that this weapon actually got a buff in this game, actually, it was crazy, I didn't actually realize it, until he told me, so I used it, and I was like, wow, this thing is actually good, but, um, that was actually, like, about two weeks ago, or something like that, and I keep forgetting to review this weapon, and I was, uh, I wouldn't have reviewed it anyways, because I don't have a good screen recorder to actually do some videos, but, um, you know, Every core is actually is only good enough for weapon reviews, really. Um, you know, for random weapon gameplays and stuff like that, maybe you pick I play 1v1s, probably. Um, you know, my voice is not synced with the video, which, um, you know, that's a problem. And you guys won't, you guys probably see that, probably say like, oh, I got two kills, but you guys didn't see I got two kills there. I did get a double kill there, actually, but just believe what I say, guys, and, uh, I, I am getting, because I don't lie, so, because I don't lie, so that's good. So, beating these guys in the server right now, uh, there's only three people in the server as of what I'm seeing right now. You guys can't see it right now, you guys are probably still seeing it in the second match right now. Because of every card, because every card recording goes way too slow. Hopefully the developers will fix it, that would be actually cool. If they do fix it, then yeah, I'll use it, probably all the time, but, I don't know. Hopefully, yeah, you know. But, um... Pretty much wins against a lot of other premium weapons. This weapon actually, it makes sense to sync being a one shot because in most shooting games, uh, you know, bazookas in the game are one shot that takes someone out, and you know this thing's also one shot. So I guess it's pretty good. This weapon's also kind of balanced as well. It's not like super overpowered. I wouldn't say this thing's overpowered, even though it's a one shot. I wouldn't say it's overpowered just because it takes it takes skill to use this weapon. You, you know, you have to time your shot correctly. You got to get the first one. And, uh, you know, since this thing only has one bullet, you have to time your shot cor correctly, and you'll easily get the kill. And, uh, that's why this weapon requires to go. You have to time your shot just right, or you have to reload for uh, two seconds or two. As you can see here, I'm getting pretty good gameplay in this Coliseum match right now, and, uh, I'm destroying literally everyone in this match, in this second match I'm playing right now. Uh, the second place person only has two kills, which is kind of... Very bad for them, actually. I usually win by a heck of a lot. And yeah, there's not a Wizard Wand user in the match because, uh, you know, when I, when there isn't a Wizard Wand user in the match, I can easily beat people at a very freaking high score, actually. Like, hundreds of, hundreds and hundreds of points, actually, ahead of them. Which is kind of weird. I guess I'm better than the average player in the game. Which I obviously am. I'm arguably the best player on YouTube. But, um, you know. You know. So... So hopefully, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. I decided to do another video with a record because you guys have been supportive of my channel lately. And uh, getting close to 4k subscribers, which is pretty good. Unfortunately, I didn't get that this month yet, which is kind of dumb because I usually get them, get another 1,000 subscribers every month. Every, like, under a month. It didn't happen for 4k, actually. I'm only at 3,800. But, uh, you know, it doesn't matter. I'm still getting subs and, uh... You know, my views are actually way higher than the average person with three, 4,000 subs, actually. For some reason, I get 1,000... So I, I almost said 1,000 subscribers. Uh, I usually get at least 1,000 views, like, every, like um, almost every single video I post, except for the last one I posted. And uh, that's not normal for someone that's <laughs> that has 3,800 subscribers. Like, thanks, Mushi, actually. He only has 1,700, and he only gets, like, 200 views. 
200 views at, on average, and I get 1,000. Uh, kind of weird. And I actually had more views on... I get more views than him, actually. So, yeah, guys. So, so that's pretty much for a review on the Easter Bazooka. Uh, you guys are probably seeing the gameplay right now. This is actually a live commentary, technically. So, yeah, guys. So, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more Pixel Gun 3D videos. And, yeah, guys. I will see you guys in the next video.